Hey, good morning. All right, we hooked up to our trailer. Now we're gonna check it out. Then we gotta sweep it out. Jaws shut. Dude, I hate when it's cold out. Man, my gears get, the grease in there gets real thick. Turn signal works. All right. All oh, lights work. Let's see how dirty it is on the inside. Doesn't look awful, but I think I'll do a sweep. Yeah, good, that light's working. Yeah, yesterday, uh, just from cold, um, just from the cold, tire pressure drops. When you check your tire air pressure, you check it cold, which means at least setting, preferably you sit all night, check it first thing in the morning, because that's when it's coldest. Even in the summer, you know, first thing in the morning, uh, you check your tire pressure and you know accurately what you have. Hey, good morning, good morning. Now we got a load. We've done our pre-trip, as you've seen. Uh, I wasn't gonna show you the DVAR again. Uh, you'll have to go back to a previous video and watch 
that. Um, we're going to Dalton, picking up, going down to Hebron. Um, more than likely, depending on where in Hebron it's at. And we're going to probably stay at the, uh, the Petro. And then uh, deliver in Hebron tomorrow morning. All right. Well, let's. We're almost ready to go, so uh, let's get going. All right, let's get out of here. Um, update on a few things. Um, I didn't. I called uh, Bendix up, and um, they were like. Well, I need some kind of report, but he goes, you don't have the software and it's fairly expensive and the connections to run it on your laptop. Um, but I need, a, I think it's a DCOM report to see what's going on. So I asked him just for grins. I go, uh, yeah, um, have you ever heard of uh, ABS module being outdated. He goes, no. He goes, now it can have a... It can be broken or have something wrong with it. But outdated, no. He goes, we sell ABS modules that were built 1990. And that. They don't out, go outdated. So either... There was an issue with it. It just, and it wasn't outdated, there was just an issue with it. And uh, they made the mistake of saying it was outdated or they screwed me. Um, and they were just changing parts because, and they never called him because he goes, none of our, t nobody, nobody here would have ever said it was outdated. They'd say that there'd be an issue with it. You know, it's, um, you know, there's something wrong on the inside, but he goes, as for being outdated, that had never happened. So, uh, the issue still happens, but it didn't happen while I had it on cruise. It seems to happen while I'm parked. And once I hit the OK button, it goes back to being cleared itself. And he goes, well, I don't even, I can't even speculate on what it could be. He goes, um, I guess it's set, the system set up that anytime anything wrong with the ABS system kicks the front radar, I guess. So there's something wrong in the ABS system. It ain't the freaking ABS module. Um, to me, it's all going back to that radar unit in front. But he goes, uh, I can't make a determination until I get this DCOM report. So, uh, I went and went over to uh, Thermal King, the one I go to, and got my PM done. I had to put all new bolts in, found out, and my the sound of the APU was getting louder. So I figured there was they use uh, that flex tube, so I figured it was broken, cracked, rusted somewhere. Well, apparently they mount the muffler because I didn't, I didn't know this thing had a muffler because it's mounted to the back of the case for the APU. And uh, he goes, uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of rusted out, so it's vibrating. And because it vibrates, um, it cracked the uh, flex tube. 
So he did a fix. I'm sure he welded or bolted a plate on back and then bolted the bumper to it and put new flex In to it. two miles, it. turn left on South Larkin Avenue. Um... Check to make sure my heat was working. Um, the thing was charging. And I had a new belt put on a year ago. Well, obviously they don't warranty a belt. You know, more than probably 30 days or something like that. Uh, but the, instead of the belt starting to split across the belt, like you'd think it would, it split up the middle. So it was intact, but it was going to be like two pieces. He goes, it probably would have lasted like a year. Um, so I had him replace that belt. The only thing is, now I'm going back to the normal uh, issue with a new belt. Um, it was fine, you know, for the first day. Um, that it uh, didn't squeal a little bit once uh, it turns on, I guess, the alternator to charge. Um, but now it's given a little squeal right in the beginning. So, I'm going to actually have to, uh, when I get back, it's not too cold. Um, go figure out how to take the cover off and uh, tighten the alternator belt up a little bit or it's too cold One mile, be in the second and it gets, from starts the to get a little worse on, on the road um, maybe stop at a TA or Petro
Hey everyone. Well, we're at the truck stop. This is a short day. Um, decided to stay at the Loves because it's so early. It's only at 20 miles longer, and for the price of fuel, I'd rather have Loves in here. I'll fill up in the morning, and then we don't have to deliver till 8:30. And it's four o'clock now, so we got a while. All right, we'll see you in the morning. So you have a nice night. And uh, we'll go deliver this and see what he has for us next. Hopefully it's not going to Louisville to that DHL facility because that's the worst um but other than that we'll see what we got tomorrow so y'all have a nice night stay warm